Tesla Summon is a feature on the Tesla mobile app that allows you to control the car, make it go forwards and backwards without actually having to be in the car. But quite a few of you have been asking, can you use Summon when you're in the car? And the answer is yes, you can. We've tested it just to make sure that it does work, but today we're gonna test it to its limits to see basically what I can get away with. So right now the car is in park, but if I was to go into Summon and hold down this reverse button, you can see that the mirrors folded in and we are now reversing backwards. All I'm doing is pressing reverse on a phone app and my car is reversing backwards. And then we stop, it stops really abruptly, folds the mirrors back out again. Obviously you want it to stop abruptly because when you're using someone, there is a risk that you might be about to drive into something. So you want it to stop as soon as you click stop. Right, let's go forwards again. Obviously right now I'm in the driver's seat. So very shortly, I think we should get me in the passenger seat and see if I can move my car from the passenger seat as well. And then I'm gonna let go and it stops really abruptly. It says auto park aborted. There we go. Right, I think we should get me in the passenger seat and we'll try that again. All right, I am in the passenger seat, the only one in the car, and I'm about to start reversing. It's happening. This is freaking us out, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it. I feel unsafe. Oh my God, I can see a car has just pulled into the car park and we're just reversing away. Living the dream. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop and we'll go forwards again. Off we go! <laughs> so there's also a thing called Smart Summon, um, which allows you to try and guide the car to a specific direction. I've never tried it before, so we are gonna try that uh, in just a second, I think. And that is gonna be even scarier. Okay, I'm gonna stop just there. While we're here, may as well test how far away the car can get from the phone before it cuts out. So we're going to start reversing now. Um, I think in the EU or in the UK, it's six meters. That's what I've heard online anyway, so we'll, we'll test if it is six meters today. But apparently in the US and uh, other countries, there isn't actually a limit. So you can summon your car from across the car park, whereas we need to do within six meters. It's stopping and starting a little bit, which is interesting. So I think we're probably nearing the boundary now. A little bit further and it's stopped i would say that's got to be yeah two max three meters from the actual sort of central screen console area so three meters isn't far so i wonder then if i walk with the car can we do an unlimited distance so now it's as if my car for a walk what speed limit are we going so it looks like it sticks at one mile an hour yeah, so it looks like when I'm next to the car or I'm in the car, I can go perhaps an unlimited distance. Oh, it's slowed down. That's interesting. I've not done anything different. And then it's cut out. I think it's perhaps um, because I was moving around, it wanted to just make sure exactly where I was. So as I said, the US can smart summon their car from across the car park. Smart summon to us is fairly useless because you have to be within about three meters of the car for it to actually work. Now I have seen there's a little cheat for that, which I don't know if they fixed yet, which is have another phone in the car, which counts as a key. And apparently that's kind of a loophole that allow you to summon the car from more than three meters away. Anyway, I've never used smart summon before. So I'm going to attempt to make the car go over there, which I'm very frightened about. I'm going to put it right there and press go to target. Whoa, whoa, my God, all kinds of things are happening. <laughs> oh, and it stopped. Summon complete. I mean, to be fair, I think that might have been me not understanding range. So let's try again. I'm going to move this circle much further away. I'm going to put it right over there, which is right on the boundary of where it can get to. Straight in the lake. <laughs> and I'm going for it. Whoa, whoa, the speed. Look at us going. We've, we've got up to two miles an hour, three miles an hour. Holy Christ. Honestly, I've no idea where it's taking us, but I'm having a lovely time. We've stopped very suddenly. <laughs> this is incredible. This is the best thing that's ever happened. What is going on? <laughs> oh yeah, that was amazing. We need to do that again. Um, I don't feel safe doing that when I'm not in the driver's seat because I want to be able to just press the brake just in case. That was absolutely hilarious. I don't know what happened there, but I think we've got to do it again. Okay, so if that's the road over there, um, 
Let's head towards the road. Maximum so distance has been travelled. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of aiming for that. But if you look at this, it says maximum distance has been travelled. So I think the EU has a 20 metre limit, which I'm surprised if we've hit. But either way, I'm guessing the way to cancel that is just by driving somewhere. So we'll just drive, we'll park back up. Right, I'm going to park ourselves down in front of the lake and uh, hopefully we can avoid the lake. <laughs> There we go, yeah. So it looks like you just have to kind of drive somewhere and then it sort of resets your limit. Please move pin closer to target. Okay, that's the lake, so we don't want to be that way. Um, I can't spin it around, so it's a bit disorientating for me because it's not facing the way we're facing. But let's just kind of set it for there, just a tiny bit in a bit. Go to target. It's so, so zoomy with its uh, spinning about. Oh, it's reversing us, which... <laughs> Fair enough. Now we go around this way. Oh god, this is cool, isn't it? There's no cars, so we're totally fine at the minute. So I think it's just doing a big turn around. God, it reverses so confidently. Watch those cars, watch those cars. I'm gonna wear... I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't like where it's lining up to. <laughs> Do you think? Becky says, we'll be fine. Okay. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> you miles off. We're pretty close. That's that's a wide angle lens. I'm not no, it's not happening. No chance. I wanna be getting a million views per video on this channel before we're doing moves like that. Right, I'm gonna plunk us right here. So if the lake's that way, let's just see if we can summon it to down there. Alright? Go to target. Here we go. And we are off. Uh so it also does the indicators as well, as you can see. It's very difficult to act. <laughs> I don't know why it stopped there. <laughs> this is incredible. Let's put it behind us again so it has to do a mad spin about. Go to target. I'm ready. Is this using your phone while driving? Is this illegal? Auto park aboard. It did not like that one. Looks like it might want me to reset it. So because of just how much it thrashes about, I don't really want to use smart summon when I'm not in the driver's seat, unfortunately. We'll go right back here, because I want to get over there. I think that would be a nice spot to go to. Okay, you ready? Go to target. This is looking good so far. Look at us. Five miles an hour. Are we going to go any faster than five? I think five might be the limit. <laughs> Why is it so brutal when it stops? I've adjusted it more this way because obviously it can't go a very wide distance. So we're going to get to where we want to be. Here we go. <laughs> Apparently we're there. It aborted at that time for whatever reason. There's nothing around us at all. I'm going to give it a challenge behind me. Here we go. Right. It's so far so good. <laughs> Oh, look at this little shimmy move. Have you seen the shimmy move? What's that about? And it's turning. Oh, you scared it. You got too close and you scared it. Sorry. <laughs> right. We're going again. Oh, someone's complete apparently. Honestly, I've no idea where anything is because it's just a blank space. Oh, I'm off. Look at the shimmy. What a shimmy this is. Why is it doing that? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> what indecisive, isn't he? It keeps going into wheel. reverse, like, just for a second. <laughs> Look at it. Do you see how often it's going in reverse? Can you see the... Oh, it's beeping at me. I think we've really stumped him. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's malfunctioning. Get out. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you think it'll just do this indefinitely? <laughs> oh! Nailed it. There we go, we're here, <laughs> thanks everyone. Right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do a smart swimming when I'm not in the driver's seat, but I'm feeling up to it. The car has seriously proved itself, I think it's time. Okay, um, press and hold, go to target. I'm really frightened. Really, really frightened. We're heading towards the lake, but it's turning. This is good. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're going into. Oh, it's okay. 
We're going forwards now. We're indicating. Everything's going beautifully. There's a woman in her car moving about. I'm gonna stop so that she can work out what she's doing. We'll let the lady move around in her car before I come at her with me, me shimmy wheels. <laughs> <laughs> right, the lady's gone. So I'm gonna hold down again. And uh, we'll see where we go. We're off. We're off. We're off. It's doing it shimmy. Two miles an hour. Three miles an hour. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did we get there or did it abort? I don't know. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go forward. Keep it nice and simple. It can do forward. So it straightens the wheel up and then uh, off we go. So this is totally fine, but it limits it to one mile an hour as opposed to Smart Summon, which does... Uh, we've seen five miles an hour briefly, but it looks like mainly it goes at around three. But yeah, this is keeping us nice and steady. Right, I'm going back onto Smart Summon. I'm going to see if it'll take me somewhere behind me. Maximum distance has been travelled. Right, I'm going to have to get back in the driving seat. So, maximum driving distance reached, but literally, all I need to do is this. Put it into drive. Just go forwards a second. And then it resets and we can go another 20 metres. Put it back into park. So let's try Smart Summon when no one's in the car. So I'm not going to move. We'll say neither of us move, Becky. Just because we don't want to give it any reason to get confused. Oh, look at him on his little adventure. They grew up so fast. Look at him turning his little wheel. <laughs> Doing a little shimmy. He doesn't want to leave us, look. Waiting for phone to come back into range, that's interesting. Oh, but I've not actually gone any closer. I'll stand a little bit closer and see if it starts back up again. There we go, yeah it does, it started back up. So yeah, what's the point in Smart Summon if I have to be this far from the car? I'm just going to make sure we're not about to crash into this vehicle. Waiting for phone to come back into range, go on. There we go, got plenty space. And he's turning, he knows what to do. And I'll go with him. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for phone to come back into range, go on. There he goes, there he goes, look at him. Right, I'm not gonna lie, Becky's phone has locked itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Becky's phone's actually, a uh, battery's died. <laughs> so there we are, that's how someone works when you are in or near your car. I think it might be fun to do a will my Tesla run me over kind of video at some point in the future. So if you want to see that, give some suggestions for some specific tests that we could do in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, do appreciate it. Also, if you're curious, if any door is open, someone will not work. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.